Joe Bishop here, Bishop Blackwood Survival. Had my smoker going today. Smoked a mullet and mullet row. I'll just took these off, taking these off now. This is actually a whiting. I've never smoked one before. But uh look like it come out pretty good, so I'll try it. Kind of anxious to try that. Check it out, nice and flaky. Doing the same way my dad, my sister did, my brother-in-law. Smoking fish been in my family for a long, long time. I do it the same way they did. Uh, can't say it, but this wood right here is white bay, and it's green. And uh, I cut it today. That's really easy to split. It gives the fish a good, a pretty color. Sorry, my camera. Get my light out here right. Put the right light on it. This is a pretty red color. It's been seasoned with uh, garlic salt, red pepper, paprika, and black pepper. And I've had it on ever since uh, about five o'clock today. I'm gonna take those off here in a second. And this is a hot smoke. I know some northern uh, states like Michigan, they do a they do a smoked fish also, but it's cold uh, smoke. And okay, I'm really good. Oh, got a lot of fat in the belly. That's the black part inside there, the meat on the inside there. That's the belly. That's my favorite part. I take hot sauce and put it all up in there. And I start over here because this is the boneless side. And this actually has a backbone going through it. And you pull the backbone out. And you eat the meat off the backbone. And then you eat it underneath there. And I dip it in the hot sauce. So good. Talking about the, uh, the northern fish, they they smoke them, but they 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 take it. Uh, they have a uh, like a salt water brine with seasoning in it. And what they do is they pump the they pump the smoke into it. Might got a little crispy there. Right. This is my favorite side of this. All right, now y'all gonna ask what this is. This is yellow roux, and all the other ones are white roux, and they've been smoked. And I'm gonna eat this one right now. Mm. So good. It's a delicacy, but the yellow room, this time of this time of year, fish are getting ready to breed. So this is the eggs. The yellow row is the eggs. So what's the white row? Yes, exactly what you're thinking. If you ain't never had any, you gotta try it at least one time. Maybe that other piece right there. Yeah. 
stuff good. That being said, I'm gonna put this on there a little bit longer. We're gonna leave it on there as long as my fire until my fire dies out. I made my smoke out of a bread box. This is a aluminum bread box. Throw these green leaves on here. I cut this tree today. It was alive today. I cut it. What happened is it starts, that green starts smoking real good. Turns that smoke right on up. That flavors. Flavors whatever you're smoking. This is what the this is what the wood looks like. It's a straight grain. Right, well, actually, not a straight grain. It's a it's a. Sorry about my video. All right. It's easy to split grain. So, see how. While it's green, it don't hold a whole lot of heat, but puts out a lot of smoke and flavor. So you add a little bit of, you add a little bit of oak in there with it, just to keep a, a coal going. You see how this stuff's pretty easy to break up, even green. It don't take a whole lot of effort and it gives a good flavor and puts a good color on your meat so see all the smoke coming out right there it's flavoring and come back over look at your fish yeah i kind of clean them up because that's a scale that's a scale there. But where I'm from, this is a delicacy. This is like what we're known for, you know, the seafood. And, uh, a lot of times you put shrimp on there too, smoked shrimp and scallops and oysters and clams. And, I don't know. I'll let that cool down before I put it in the refrigerator. That way they don't go bad because if you try to cool it down too quick, they can spoil on you. And it's like my dad, my sister, my brother-in-law, my, my Aunt Joey. Uh, they all put them in like these. They normally put them in a beer flat because you can hold so many in a beer flat and another beer flat that was just a little bit bigger than the other one would slide right over top of it. And it lets the fish cool down. Uh, slowly and without spoiling. And, uh, I'll come back and get that row off there. That row is so good. Uh, if you ever get the opportunity, you need to try it. I'm Joe Bishop, Bishop Backwood Survival. I can't practice any skills, but sometimes using what happens to get out and practice.